Ladies and gentlemen, Rodri has won the Ballon d'Or, not Vinicius Jr. This is quite a surprise. And I, and I want to know here in the comments down below, let me know right now, chat, about who do you think should have actually deserved this award? Were you team Rodri? Were you team Vinicius Jr.? Were you able to let your Barcelonismo and Barcelona, you know, affiliation behind and say that maybe Vinicius did deserve this more, more than Rodri? I want to know because personally, I do think that Vinicius Jr., without doing too much analysis and breakdown into it, was was the one that deserved it a little bit more but I want to know what you guys think in this video we're gonna break it down and eventually I want to see if I can convince myself that Rodri actually does deserve it so let's break it down because I of course I'm not angry <laughs> you know it's funny to see that so many Madridistas are crazy and angry that Rodri has won it I mean but I guess the world works in interesting ways Barcelona just beat them 4-0 and now Vinicius Jr. Don't, doesn't get the Ballon d'Or I think <laughs> insane the world the way that sometimes it works <laughs> What's going on guys? Como están? Will is here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Initially, I was not planning on discussing this at all because I just thought Vinicius was going to be, you know, the guaranteed winner. But that is not the case. Rodri from Manchester City, 28 years of age, that becomes the second Spaniard to lift the Ballon d'Or in the men's football. This is incredible scenes because everybody is erupting. Everybody is just so surprised that Vinicius Jr. has not won this award. And I am surprised as well, really. I, I, I already had, you know, came to the realization that we had to live in a world where Vinicius Jr. would have a Ballon d'Or, would have more Ballon d'Ors than someone like Neymar, like Thierry Henry, like Ibera, you know, players of that caliber. I, I, I really thought it was going to be a disaster, but no things actually did work out the way that we all wanted it to if you actually know Bo and that is a Rodri well eventually now he becomes second Spaniard like I said already to win the Ballon d'Or so it's exciting news I think and it's something that we have to discuss at first glance I do agree I do feel that Vinicius Jr. in my head is the one that deserved it I think he did a better performance I would have given Rodri maybe the Ballon d'Or uh, last season perhaps after the treble winning season for Manchester City. I know Haaland was the one who also came into, into contention to win that alongside Messi and maybe someone like De Bruyne. This year, you know, the candidates have been of a lesser name or of a lesser stature. And I think that Rodri eventually now with the legacy that he's going to build and he has already built, he earns a... I don't know so far if I want to say deserved award, but there's definitely one where many people are going to be shocked because simply for the sake of being a center defensive midfielder has the right to win a Ballon d'Or. And I do not agree with that one bit. I really do think that players of his position right now in the world of football are the most important ones. You always need a CDM and it's so important, particularly in the way that every manager wants to play football nowadays. And if we take into account that he won the Euros and he's been unbeaten basically for what an entire year almost then we're talking about someone who at the end of the day if we're looking at all of the criteria it might come down that Rodri yes might in fact does deserve this award but now of course I want to talk about Vinicius Jr. I don't know if El Casio had to do anything with it I really doubt it but I think that it comes down to the attitude of Vinicius Jr. I think one of the main criteria, there were three criteria, right? One is the character and individual performances of the player, how he turns up in crucial moments. Rodri has done that, Vinicius Jr. has done that as well. Then we take a look at a second one, which is the accolades of their team. And I mean, Manchester City then won the trouble before. They came here and uh, won the Premier League this year as well. For the first time, someone in the Premier League has won it four times in a row, I think. Someone can correct me in the comments. He has won the Euros with Spain as well. And I think in all of those, he's a seriously important player. And now we see a, a CDM lifted, which is just outstanding. Uh, in the case of Vinicius Junior, he won the Champions League and he won La Liga, which of course are two huge major honors. And if we're just talking about this season, this is where I think I have a little bit of discrepancy. When I really do think about it, I believe that Vinicius Jr. with the accolades that he's won, I think the Champions League and the La Liga are in immense, you know, a double. It's pretty very, 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 very important. I don't know how a Champions League and a, Ch a La Liga worth more than a Euro and a Premier League. I really do think that the Champions League is quite important. We look at Rodri and we really do think that we're seeing a player who, not that he lost in the statistics, he didn't lose. It's that he, they went out on penalties. So that's certainly interesting. And I don't know if that had to do anything with it. And the last criteria overall is the one that I believe 
really holds against Vinicius Jr. quite a bit, and that's the fair play award. What what sort of character he is, what sort of attitude does he have? And Vinicius Jr., I think this is where he's a controversial character, 100%. And I'm pretty sure that some people in La UEFA will certainly not enjoy someone like Vinicius winning this award because you will just continue to filter the ego, you know, and create this beast. And I do not see how people can actually stand by him in certain occasions like racism. That's one thing. But when it comes down to, you know, being a little bit of a, of a spoiled little brat, which Vinicius Jr. sometimes is, uh, that doesn't have to do anything with, with the other aspects, you know, like the racism or or the, the chance that he gets in stadiums, things like that. He has done a lot for that in that occasion. And he even, you know, backs up what Lamin Yamil suffered, Lamin Yamal suffered in the Clásico, which I think it's perfectly fine and very honorable. In other things, the, the way that he simply, for instance, against Gavi in the Clásico said, Gavi, I'm going to win the Ballon d'Or next Monday. Who are you? Who are you? Like those certain instances and exchanges, I think that's where you lose certain people. And definitely you lose me. And just as my recording this, we have news from the Ballon d'Or itself. We're going to take a look at Rodri reacting to his award. This is something that I want to hear live because I haven't, I haven't heard it one bit. So let's take a look. Um... Incredible night for me today. Uh, if you let me, I would like to speak in, in my language, in Spanish, uh, of my country. Um, so, yeah. Um, bueno, buenas noches a todos. Merci. Uh, hoy tengo muchas cosas que agradecer a, a mucha gente. Damn. En primer lugar a France Football. He won, la, Probably he won the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> this is crazy. A CDM winning it. Por el por, por estar aquí un, un año más. En primer lugar quería agradecer a todo el mundo que, que me ha votado, que ha confiado en mí para, para darme este galardón. Sé que hoy es un día muy especial, no solo para mí, para mi familia, para mi país. Eh, y bueno, quería, quería dar las gracias en primer lugar. It's crazy eh, bueno, that someone like Rodri has won the Ballon d'Or and not Xavi and Iniesta, or Busquets Laura, even. Eh, que justo hoy... Hacemos ocho años, es nuestro aniversario. Eh, sin ti, este camino no hubiese sido el mismo. Así que muchas gracias. He's thanking his partner. He's, he says it's the same day as his aniversary. Like, what a, what a way to celebrate your anniversary with, with your partner. That's crazy. A mi familia, por supuesto, eh, por todos los valores que me ha dado, por, por lo que representa para mí, eh, por lo que me ha ayudado desde el principio. And that's where it stops. But anyhow, look. Look at this image right there. Rodri winning the Ballon d'Or. This is crazy, dude. And, and, and I, and I want to go back into stats because people are going to throw stuff at us, you know? This is the season that Modric won the Ballon d'Or, right? Three trophies, four goals, 12 assists. In this season, Rodri has five trophies, 12 goals, and 13 assists. The five trophies, I'm not sure. Is it correct? I mean, are we counting those from last year? I'm not too sure. But this one is the one for me that's interesting. You know, here we, we have a straight up comparison in terms of stats between Rodri and uh, Vinicius Jr. in the last previous season. So he had 63 games to 49, more games for Rodri. He had, of course, 12 goals, which is much less than someone like Vinicius that has 26, but 14 assists, which is crazy that he has more. 10, uh, 10, I was gonna say 10, 100 key passes, less big chances created, Less big chances missed. Uh, successful dribbles. He has a better success rate, but less attempted, which, of course, is quite understandable. Vinicius Jr. is that sort of guy who who will 100% give you one-on-ones and give you that spectacular sort of football that people tend to, in, to, to enjoy. So, of course, we know that he's going to lose more balls. So I think that's understandable. In duels 1, he had 300 and, 352 to 266. The pass accuracy was off the charts with 93% accuracy uh, throughout the entire season. He only lost one game last season, which is insane. That game was against um, it was against Manchester United in the FA Cup final. The only game that he lost. That's insane, dude. And the average rating when it comes to I, I'm not I'm not I don't not know what they're actually discussing here, 
but where his average rating is that of 7.89. So here are the trophies that they won. Uh, he won the Euros, he won the Premier League, he won the UEFA Super Cup, he won the FIFA Club World Cup, he got the Euro Player of the Tournament, he was given the FIFA CWC Golden Ball, which I don't know, Club World Cup Golden Ball, the longest unbeaten streak in the Premier League, which is not an award, but still something very important to understand and have in, into contention, the longest unbeaten streak in club football record, which that's insane. I think I think that certainly is a thing that tipped him over the bar, you know? Longest unbeaten streak in club football. That's insane. That's, that's like, he has not lost a game. Uh, for I, I do not know the, the exact numbers, but that's insane, you know? And then when it comes to Vinicius Jr., we take a look at the Champions League, La Liga, and the Spanish Super Cup, which of course is quite a lot, you know? It's 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 very, very big awards, of course, as well. And he won the UCL Player of the, of the Season Award. Um, so when you look at the stats and look at the actual analysis between them, I think that it makes sense for someone like Rodri, you know, to win it. If you watch football, you can tell that the player on the left, Rodri, is as good as Vinicius Jr. on the right. I mean, you can you can tell they are of difficult, different ilk because they are in different positions, but they're equally as good. I think Rodri is more important. Like, to find someone like Rodri in his position, it's harder than to find someone like Vinicius Jr. in his position. I think the dif the difference in margin between left wingers, between Vinicius and Mbappe, for instance, which I think Vinicius is first and Mbappe second, it's much closer. Whilst Rodri, from their best CDM to the next best CDM, I think there's a huge gap. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you right off my head right now who do I think is the best CDM out there. So simply Rodri by a landslide. So when we do this analysis, I think that it kind of makes sense that Rodri did win it. I'm quite surprised, honestly, and still very interested. Or that How can you not turn up? Like, Ramadi didn't even turn up to the award. That's... That's humiliating. Like, they riot. They boycott the entire competition. Like, that's the entire award ceremony. That's insane. You still should show up. I mean, you won best club of the year, and you won the best coach. And undoubtedly, I think they did deserve those. So <laughs> how come you're not going just because Vinicius Jr. didn't win the award? That's so crybaby attitude. You need to grow up. You need to freaking grow up. They, I, I, I kid you not. They have a an inferiority complex. Like, they are afraid of everybody else like wh why wouldn't you just go wh what's the problem with it what's the abs what's the problem of accepting that somebody else beat you to it i don't know um so when it comes to disputes and, and things like that there's of course you know mention that people are going to be saying that because this is the first time that uefa got involved in the, in france football you know the first time that this ballon d'or was given between uefa and france football together in this collaboration so UEFA, we know that doesn't have the best relationship with Real Madrid, but I mean, anyhow, Real Madrid are the champions of the competition. I don't know why you wouldn't be, wouldn't be, you know, capable of giving them a Ballon d'Or. I think that people are going to be trying to make, uh, are going to be trying to make allegations which are just not true, and you just not have to believe them. I think that's the most important thing that we have to mention. And yeah, overall. Rodri has won the Ballon d'Or, and, and I think it's it's a deserved award. In the other hands, we have someone like Lamine Yamal, who also won this this award, and who won not the Ballon d'Or but the Copa Trophy, and I think that's very well deserved. And overall, it's a good night for Cruyffism. It's a good night for El Barcelonismo. It's a good night for Guardiolismo. It's a good night for everybody who actually loves football. And if you just care about the results and a resultadista like a Madridista then I think you're going to be a crybaby. And I don't really have to talk too much about uh, Lamine Jamal because I think we all know what he's done. He's won it. It's now Barcelona winning it three out of the last four years, three times out of the last five years. So that's quite good, quite an insane, insane record. And I'm just super happy. I'm just super happy that... I'm not, I'm not super happy that Vinicius didn't win or I'm super happy that Rodri didn't win. That's not the comparison here. I'm saying that I'm super happy because they didn't they someone, I always like when someone gets put in his place and Vinicius Jr., oh damn, he's gonna get put in his place today so, so much.